I'm Michael Gallant, the Wellness Clinical Programs Manager for Carillion Clinic. I have with me Rick, a cancer survivor, and we're here to demonstrate exercises that other survivors can do at home to maintain their strength using household items and improve their ability to do their daily tasks. Our first exercise is going to be picking something up from a floor. This is also known as a deadlift. With this exercise, we're using very simple weights. We have water bottles, four of them in here, and just a normal grocery bag tote, okay? I'm gonna place the tote between Rick's feet, and then he'll reach down and grab the handles there. While he reaches down, he's gonna to try to keep his back straight. Rick's pretty flexible, so he can reach down all the way to the base of the handles here. But for others who can't quite bend over so far, you could grab the top of the handle and pull from there, okay? Rick's gonna reach down to the bottom, straighten out that back. He'll be looking ahead to, on the floor about five feet in front of him. And then he's simply gonna stand up straight. Great, stand up tall as you can. We'll pull the shoulders back, chest up, bottom squeezed. You notice we have a chair behind him. That way he's got a target for his bottom to reach for. So as you bring that tote back down to the floor, Rick, I want you to push your bottom toward that chair. Great, and once it's resting on the floor, you can stop and we'll come back up. So that was two repetitions. We're gonna do this for six in a row, but you could do as many as 15 of these at a time. Stand back up. Great. And notice Rick's feet are staying flat on the floor. He's balanced over the middle of his foot. His back is staying nice and straight. And the arms are not pulling the weight up. The arms are staying straight, just holding on to the weight. And his leg muscles and hip muscles are doing all of the work. That's great. You want to be up tall every time you stand up. And that's six, you can stop there. Great work, Rick. Thank you. This exercise is called the one arm row. We're using our same grocery tote, loaded up with four water bottles, but you could use as many as you like. You could also use cans of soup or normal household weights. You're just gonna put them all in your grocery tote or it could be another implement. It could be a uh, duffel bag or a book bag uh, anything you have at home. I've got Rick standing with the weight just a few inches in front of his feet, and we have a chair off to the side here. He's going to reach down to the seat of the chair with his left hand, I'm trying to keep a pretty straight back here. He'll reach down and grab the tote just at the base of the handles. Now I'm going to have him lift that weight up until his elbow's right at his back here. Hold for just a second and then let it down slowly. And you can pick back up, hold for just a second and let it down slowly. Notice Rick's got his weight shifted back a little bit here and his back is nice and flat the whole time. Up, hold for a second and let it down. And then we'll do two more and take a rest. Those look great. So notice that these are very controlled repetitions. The whole way up and the whole way down, his muscles are working to control that weight. All right, and then you can stand up and we'll switch sides. So we're gonna move our chair to the other side here, and then you'll reach toward the seat of the chair with your right hand this time. You want that same good posture with the weight shifted back just a little bit, balanced over his feet reach down and grab the weight, and then we're gonna lift up, hold for a second at the top, and let it down slowly. That's one, and two, and three. So we are working a lot of muscles here. The latissimus, or lats, right here, very important muscles that cover your whole back. We're working the biceps, grip strength, 
in the forearms as well. And just being in this position is working all of the postural muscles of the body at the same time. That's great, Rick, you can stop there. This exercise is called the reverse lunge. This is very helpful for people uh, who have difficulty getting out of a chair, going upstairs, or getting up from a kneeling position. Uh, this is gonna build strength in the legs as well as build some flexibility and mobility through the hips. Rick's standing here in front of a pillow on the floor and he's got a sturdy chair behind him. So he's gonna reach to the back of the chair to support himself with his left hand. And then with his left foot, he'll take a big step back over the pillow. From here, he's gonna be standing up straight. The front foot will stay flat on the floor the whole time, and the back foot will be up on the toes or on the ball of the foot. Now all he's gonna do is try to drop straight down so that his back knee gets close to the pillow, and then he'll stand back up again. He's using the chair as much as he needs in order to support himself and help balance. And Rick's pretty flexible, so he can get his knee all the way down to that pillow. But this can also be done with just a small range of motion, where you only go down just a few inches. If you could do one, just a, a short one for me, Rick. You only need to go down that far at first, and then over time, you're going to build up that mobility to get down further and further. One last rep here and stand up tall. That's great, Rick. So then you'll step forward, okay? We'll turn around and start on this edge of the pillow this time, facing me. Come over the pillow for me, great. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Now that trailing leg, the one in the back, we're bringing the back knee down to the, tip, to the pillow. Good, and back up. We want about 60% of your weight to be on the front foot. Perfect. And it's not so much a lunge forward as it is dropping straight down to the pillow and coming straight back up. You're doing great, Rick. Those look really good. Notice he's staying nice and upright the whole time. Great posture, and all these reps are under control. Good job. For people who may not be able to do the reverse lunge safely, uh, there is another option that will provide similar benefits, uh, and that's simply marching in place slowly. So we're using the same back of the chair, standing up straight, uh, and one leg at a time, we're gonna alternate, bringing the knee up as high as you can. Good, right, and back down and then left, all the way up high as you can, and back down, that's great. And we're trying to stay tall the whole time. Good posture, shoulders back. We'll go right one more time, and down, and left. Try to pick your toes up for me, Rick. Perfect, and back down slowly. Good stuff. We're staying balanced here, but using the chair for support as much as necessary. Up all the way perfect. It's almost like you're stepping up onto a really high stair. You gotta pick the toes up to clear the stairs. All the way up. You're doing great here. Nice tall posture. The leg that stays down on the floor. We've got a straight knee and a squeezed bottom. Down slowly. And just like all the other exercises, every rep is very under control and has a pause at the top and the bottom of each one. The last one here, all the way up, all the way down, and great job. This exercise is called the sit to stand and overhead press. This is mimicking things that we have to do on a daily basis. Uh, every time you get up out of a chair or off the couch, you're doing a sit to stand. And every time you reach up to put your dishes in the, in the cupboards, you're doing an overhead press. So this is a way to train those movements to get the muscle groups that control them stronger. Um, most people have these hand weights at home,
But if you don't, you can use simply water bottles. So I'm going to give Rick the water bottles here, one in each hand. He's sitting up tall on the edge of a chair, and he's got the water bottles right by his shoulders. And I'll ask you to bring your elbows forward just a little bit so that your forearms are vertical underneath the bottle. From here, I just want you to lean forward and stand up. Good, stand up tall as you can, great posture. Then you're gonna push those bottles up as high as you can toward the ceiling. For people with limited shoulder mobility here, you only have to go up as high as you can. So if that's to here, that's fine. If it's a little higher, that's great. You wanna work within a pain-free range of motion. Rick will sit back down slowly, perfect. And then he'll stand back up one more time. Good, nice tall posture, and then press up toward the ceiling. Good work. And all the way down, and sit back down under control. Up one more time. Good, really reach those bottles up to the ceiling. You're gonna shrug your shoulders up, and come back down slowly. You only bring the bottles back down to the height of your shoulders. And sit back down one more time and stand up. Good, nice quick stand up, that's great. Press up toward the ceiling and back down. Rick's got great posture while he's doing this. He's nice and balanced over his feet as he stands up and sits down. The feet are about shoulder width apart. And if you normally stand with your toes turned out, it's best to stand that way. Great. One more rep, all the way up. Press up high as you can, arms straight, back down to your shoulders, and sit back down, nice and controlled. That's great. Now we already know that Rick's pretty flexible. Uh, there may be some of you who can't quite sit down to a low chair like that. In that case, all you need to do is put a pillow or two underneath your bottom on the chair. So if you could stand up for me, Rick. That way, the, the seat is elevated and Rick doesn't have to go down quite so far. So if you've got knee pain or hip pain that limits your range of motion, that's a good way to modify this exercise so that it can be appropriate for you. This exercise is called the farmer's carry or suitcase carry. This looks a lot like carrying your groceries in from the car. Uh, this is just a way to train that movement. It loads the whole skeleton. It works on posture, on balance, and control. You could use anything uh, as a weight for this. You could even use your groceries. Uh, in this case, we could put dumbbells in a backpack and hold on to it that way. Or you could put bottles of water again in a tote bag like this and hold on to it that way. So Rick's gonna start with his, uh, his feet straddling the weight there. He'll reach down and grab it with one hand. Great. Stand up tall, and we're gonna bring that weight over to the side. Before you start walking, you wanna make sure you've got great posture, chest up, shoulders back. And then when Rick starts walking forward, I'm gonna ask him to go as slow as possible. And that's gonna force him to balance every single step. So you can start walking forward. Nice, slow, controlled steps. That weight is trying to pull him in that direction. And he has to use his core muscles here on each side, the obliques, to stay upright. And then we'll turn around. Place the weight down on the floor between your feet, and we'll switch hands, and stand back up again. So now his core is being challenged in the opposite direction. The weight is pulling him down toward his left side, and he's got to use all these muscles here to stay nice and upright. Great posture, Rick. Nice, slow, controlled steps. Good, and we'll turn around, place the weight back down, and switch hands. So that was one rep, or one trip there and back. I'll have Rick do three of these on video, but you could do as many as six to 10 of these in a row, depending on the length that you're walking. 
you do want to work up to a point or use a weight that makes your muscles feel a little bit tired. Start with something that feels easy, but then add some more weight or walk a little bit further until it feels like a challenge to hold on to that weight and to maintain that upright posture. Good stuff. Notice Rick is walking heel toe, meaning the heel touches the ground first and then the toe comes down to follow. When he bends over to pick that weight up, he's treating it like a deadlift. He's keeping a nice straight back. And forward again. Great posture. Rick's looking straight ahead to make sure that he's got good neck posture. We'll turn around. Switch hands for the last time. Good. Coming forward. Great work on balance, posture, control, all things that help us do our daily tasks much easier.